it's, it's definitely a new experience going against competition from all angles, from the DBs to the linemen, defensive line. What's been maybe the toughest adjustment? Uh, I'll say the speed. The speed of the game is much faster up here. It's not like high school ball where you're faster than mostly everybody on the field if you're an elite player. So I think the speed is definitely something uh, I need to work on up here. When you say work on it, how are you going to work on it? Uh, pretty much it's going hard with every play, like Coach Elton says. What we emphasize up here is full speed on every play, making sure that we're going hard every play, making the next person better. So I think if you go full speed every play, obviously it's going to help you get better at that. What about as fast the as they're going, does that help you go faster? I mean, yeah. Than, yeah. than in high school, it's hard to... Yeah, it lets me, it lets me know that I got to stay on my grind every single play, every single second. So it, it, it gets you in that mindset. When you scrimmage for the first couple of times, how much was the physical contact different than what you, was it what you thought it would be, more intense, tougher, what? Uh, my first couple of scrimmages, uh, it was different. It was, I, as you guys know, yeah, it was different. Uh, one of the things that I did experience, you can't take too much time chattering your feet or making moves in the hole because people are coming, big, big dudes are coming to hit you. I have got hit a couple times. Uh, another thing is, I would say making sure you finish your runs. Because in high school, what I had a bad, what I had a bad thing of doing was not finishing my runs. Now I, I think I finished my runs pretty good. How much does Coach Deland help you as far as learning the running back position? Coach, running, Coach who? Deland. Oh, okay. How, how has he helped influence how your uh, uh, visions are? He's helped me a lot. Uh, he's helped me pick up the reads, the the gap reads, and uh, which gap the defensive line is. Is in if I should jump cut, should I press it? If the D lineman's in the B gap, if he goes up the field, I cut up. If he, if he doesn't go upfield, I keep going out from pass blocking, making sure uh, if there isn't getting my pass reads better, making sure if there isn't a linebacker coming, hurry up and get out there. Don't waste too much time in the backfield. Uh, he said one of the things, he thought you were running a little upright uh, when you got here, and he said you immediately adjusted to being able to, to run low. Was that hard at all? He said you did it easily. Uh, I, w I wouldn't say it was hard, but it was something that I had to keep in the back of my mind. Because running high, that was something I was very used to in high school. But working on that machine down there, keeping your pass low, that's something he always emphasized. Make sure you keep your pass low through the hole, you're going to get high. So that's how you don't uh, get, get, get hurt? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> when, uh, when you're in high school, choosing a college, do you look at how much the freshmen are used in different schools? Uh, well, no, nah, not too much. I like to see how the coaches rotate their players, see, who, see what the roster is looking like and see what the type of competition there is up here. What did you see when you looked at USC's roster and how, how the coaches used? Uh, amazing, amazing. Uh, when I, while I was getting recruited, I had Coach Johnny Nance at first as the running back coach, then Tommy Robinson, then Coach D. And they both, I mean, all three of those coaches seemed to rotate their backs really well. And that wasn't a problem for me. What's an individual goal for you this season? Uh, just make the most out of every opportunity that I can. Any of those opportunities might be kickoff returns. How uh, how much would you like to be able to return kickoffs? Uh, that'll be lovely. Hopefully, I can do that. Hopefully, they will be back there. Some older people here have watched your style, your body, the way it works. Reminds them of Charles White, who's a Heisman Trophy winner. Are you familiar with Charles? Have you watched film of oh, yes, some of those? Oh, yes, sir. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, I think well, what everybody else thinks of me, uh, that's good. I don't really try to get into all of that. I just try to play my hardest every play. Is there a running back that you admire? Uh, there's Did you pattern ton, your game off? There's tons of running backs that I admire. I say I wouldn't say pattern my game after because I try to do my own thing, but take bits and pieces from other running backs, yeah, most definitely. Anyone in particular? Uh, you can, from Ezekiel Elliott to Le'Veon Bell to Reggie Bush to who else could I say? To, to <laughs> There's millions of running backs. What do you, what do you, do you remember mind? of Reggie Bush when you, you, you were a little kid? Huh? Yeah, electric. What do you, you remember? Electric. Right? 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 What is your time in the 40? Uh, last time I ran it, it was a 4.57.